What is up my friends, ChumQ back again with another video for you. Now today we're going to be looking at another Nendoroid knockoff uh, from Death Note uh, featuring L or the character L from the series. Now I'm a huge Death Note fan. I love L to death, uh, no pun intended. This series, um, when I first read it, um, really got me hooked onto it. Uh, but to be fair, uh, the beginning of the series actually has a sort of like increased climax and sort of plateaus in the middle and towards the end, it sort of shoots up again. Uh, but it's definitely a very good series. If you haven't read it or watched it, I highly recommend it. Now, L is uh, the protagonist in the um, Death Note series. He um, is the art enemy of uh, Light Yagami, who um, is trying to pass himself as Kira in the story, um, who is uh, pretty much trying to cleanse the world of all the evil um, by killing people by writing their names on the Death Note notebook, um, which was given to him by the Shinigami. So when I saw this thing online, I had to get it. I'm a very big uh, Death Note fan, but I also wanted to um, show you guys a knockoff version um, so you can see for yourself um, what to look out for when purchasing these things online. So having a look at the box, um, it's quite hard to tell uh, because the uh, box quality is actually very good. Uh, the front of the box is pretty much all in, I think, Japanese or Chinese. Um, so it's not really, um, if you speak only English, you can't really tell um, by reading uh, the descriptions. Unlike when I did the other review for the um, Trainer Red Pokemon video, um, there was a lot of misspellings um, in English. So that was very easy to tell. But this one hardly has any English um, words and characters on it. Um, so you really just have to have closer looks and inspections. All right, so let's have a look at the front of the box. Now, you'll see in the window here, you've got L positioned in this side, uh, followed by his um, famous chair that he uh, sits on, um, on the other side, op um, opposite of him. The packaging is pretty much done in a foreign language. I'm not quite sure if it's Japanese or Chinese, um, but there's a lot of things that I can't read on it. Um, apart from the uh, Death Note logo, um, the letter L, which is um, the character, number 17, uh, code name L, and it actually even has the Good Smile Company logo here in the bottom. So although it does have that, be very careful when you're buying this um, item. So onto the side of the box, there's another window up here that you can see um, the Nendroid figure from the side, but also a graphical picture of L sitting down in his seat. Now, what I noticed with this box is that um, the photos on it are not actually that sharp. Um, it's hard to tell from the video, but when I bring it close to me, um, comparing it to the other boxes of uh, Good Smile Company Nendoroids that I've seen and bought, uh, these ones are pretty much um, a little bit on the blurry side. But from afar, like if you look from, from here, you're not gonna tell, but from a close-up inspection, then you probably get to see that. Um, onto the other side, we've got the um, back view of L, and another clear window here. Oh, and here's another thing that you can see. The uh, packaging sort of like is not the best as it pops out like that. Um, whereas normally good design boxes are meant to keep everything and fit together in place quite nicely. All right, so onto the back of the box, we can see that there are five pictures of L here. Um, one is that he is sitting down on his uh, seat, uh, followed by three other photos of the different heads that it comes with. And then finally a picture with him and light handcuffed to each other. Now there are also words accompanying the photos. Uh, this one says for Keegan, Racy, Niyari, Bikuri. So that's probably, I don't know, maybe the different expressions I'm guessing. Uh, if anyone knows what these means, uh, feel free to leave a comment below. Now over here, you can see that the box is not uh, done so well. It's actually opening up here on the side. That's another giveaway that this is um, a knockoff. All right, so this is the bottom part of the box where you have L um, on his mobile phone, followed by the Death Note logo, uh, the letter L, and it says here, code name L. All right, so now we've had a look around the box. Let's um, open this up so we can see the actual Nendoroid figure and have a look at the different uh, quality issues, if any, uh, that you need to look out for um, when purchasing these things. Okay, so this is what it looks like straight out of the box. You've got your classic Nendoroid packaging where you have those two plastics that just fit um, nicely um, in the front and the back of the figure and all of its accessories. Um, here we've got L, um, another body part, um, three different heads, his seat, and then a arm with the cell phone um, in the hand. Uh, let's just get this open up. Closer look. All right, so looking at this figure, 
it actually looks like it's done pretty good. Um, there aren't much issues that I can tell from looking at it, but um, at closer inspection, probably if you look at the eyes of this figure, um, you can see that the paint application is not the best. Um, there are some sort of like a little bit of overlaps. It's nothing too bad, um, but definitely quality control issues. Now the paint on the figure seems like it's just been put on on top of another sort of like layer and it, I feel like if I scratch it too much that it's actually going to get out quite easily. Um, so I'd be very reluctant to sort of um, put maybe this um, piece that sort of gets this Nendoroid figure standing up uh, because if you sort of force it in it might just scrape out the paint. And normally that's not the case with these real Nandroids. The paint, the paint application is done very well so that um, scratching doesn't really take the paint off. Um, another thing to look at with these figures is the way things um, fit in together. Uh, this one is actually quite good. Um, it feels pretty solid um, when you take off the head like that. Um, some of the Nendoroid uh, knockoffs that I've seen um, have a hard time fitting together. Uh, this particular batch uh, seems to be done very well. Um, but let's look at the uh, Nendoroid figure out of the box. Next up, let's have a look at his seat. My goodness, this is really cool. I mean, I like that they've done this as an accessory for the Nendoroid figure. Uh, although it is a knockoff, I don't recommend people buying the knockoff. I recommend you buying the real thing. Um, but if you're going to see the real thing, compared to this, um, there are some paint issues. And also the plastic um, molds doesn't look like it's done very well. Uh, there are a bit of overlap um, in some of the um, areas here. I'm not sure if you can see that there. Um, there, yeah, there's a bit of an overlap there. Uh, it's not done um, quite good. Now here's the uh, little body, uh, sitting down body that he comes down with. Quite cool, so you can get him post sitting down in his seat. All right, so he comes with three different head expressions. That is a closer look at the three of them. If you have a look closely, you can probably see that the different uh, paint applications on the eyes uh, are not the best. There's a bit spotty uh, paint. Uh, it's not really that um, fine. You can see some dots of um, you know, different colors on the eyes, which the real Nendoroids don't really have issues with. Um, but normally these knockoffs, those are the dead giveaways, just looking at the paint application. Alright, so here is another accessory. It's a hand with a cell phone, so if you want to swap around one of his arms, uh, as to make him have, um, as to make him look like he's in a conversation with someone, you can. And finally, we've got the stand that it comes with. Um, this stand doesn't actually look like the other Nendoroid stands uh, that we're normally used to. It's like a square with all those little holes around. Uh, this is a circular one. Um, and it says made in China right smack there in the middle. I don't know if you can see that. Made in China. And that is the stand for you right there. Quite different to the uh, other Nendoroid stands that uh, you normally see. All right, so I'm gonna clean this up, take a few close-up shots so you can have a look for yourself and see um, the Nendoroid close-up. Uh, pay attention to the eyes of this figure. Um, you'll, you'll see that there are definitely some issues um, with the paint application. Um, if you notice anything else other than the things that I've mentioned, uh, feel free to uh, let me know in the comments below. Um, but at least um, you'll have a reference um, of what to look for versus the real thing if you're ever interested in buying uh, this Nendroid figure from Death Note um, featuring L as the character uh, from the Good Smile Company.
All right, so that was a look at a knockoff Nendroid featuring L from Death Note. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys are a fan of the Death Note series, love Nendroids, and like seeing more of these videos, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you guys think. And again, thanks for watching.